This is kind of a sad one. That's why I'm hitting this topic so hard. I have been living, this is a woman, I have been living with an abusive husband for 18 years. Okay, long enough, I'd say. We have three kids at home. My husband controls me, criticizes me constantly, demands sex on his terms, and laughs whenever I ask for my needs to be met. Yeah, sounds like a narcissist and an abuser. My oldest son, a teenager, is now starting to emotionally abuse me. You know what? I'll bet he is. I feel like God, here's the kicker. I feel like God wants me to stay in this marriage for the sake of my kids. What do you think? I hear this all the time. I'm staying for the sake of my kids. No, no, you should leave for the sake of your kids. Here's my answer. Again, leave your abuser for the sake of the kids. You may have already lost your oldest son. That may be too late to save him. You may have a chance, but you're going to lose the other kids too. What happens when you stay with an abuser 95% of the time is those kids, as they grow up, will turn on you. No respect, no love, and they'll side with the abuser. That's not what they need, and it's not what you need. I cannot believe I'm answering this lady and anyone listening here that is still living with an abuser. I can't believe God wants you to stay and continue to allow your abuser to severely damage you and your children. Now, you can stay free country, and God will allow you to stay, but you will pay a high cost, and so will your children. And I want you to know what that cost is. I want you to get my book, Enough is Enough, How to Leave an Abusive Relationship. Read it with an open mind and see if God is directing you to leave your abuser. Now I'm going to read a brief section from Enough is Enough on this whole issue of should I leave my abusive husband? I admit it. I am being very tough on you. I will not entertain or consider even one of your excuses for staying with your abuser. And they are excuses. I am hammering away at your massive wall of denial because that's what it is. It's your denial and the lies connected to it that keep you with your abuser. Now, much more about, of course, your lies and what keeps a woman, especially a woman, in a relationship with an abuser in this book, Enough is Enough. I want to get you out of denial and into cold, clear-headed reality. I want to save you and your kids. God wants to save you and your kids. That's not going to happen if you stay. God has a great plan for your life, and it does not include staying with your abuser. Tolerating abuse is actually Satan's plan for your life. That's what you're living out. If you stay, it's on you. I can't make you leave. You can choose to stay in denial and stay with your abuser. God won't make you leave. Many of my abused clients have chosen to stay, but know this. If you do decide to stay, all of the resulting consequences will be on you. All the damage, problems, and misery you and your kids will experience, and you'll experience all those things, will be your fault. Don't play the martyr. Don't complain. Don't blame anyone else. You will be responsible for all the ongoing carnage of the abuse. Now, it's going to be hard to leave, incredibly hard, the hardest thing you've ever done in your life, but it's the right thing to do, and I believe it's what God wants you to do. Read 1 Samuel 25, the story of Abigail and Nabal. It's as clear as a bell from a clinical Christian psychologist's point of view that God is saying through that story, leave him if he's abusive. All I ask is that you read this book, Enough is Enough, with an open mind. Ask God to give you guidance. Read the entire book and see what God wants you to do. I think he'll speak clearly to you through the, of course, through the book and through other means he has. It's not about him anymore. So many of these abused wives, I say, it's always about the husband, always focused on him. Is he going to change? I can't put up with this. Not about him anymore. Stop trying to change him. Stop trying to improve your marriage. Stop trying to love him so he'll love you back. Classic Christian Christian approach, it never works. Not Not with an abuser, with a decent man, sure. Stop reading marriage books, except for my marriage books, except for enough is enough. Stop listening to marriage podcasts, except mine. Stop Googling, how do I save my marriage? Stop asking him to attend marriage seminars. Just stop it. All these efforts are a waste of time and they haven't worked. You know they haven't worked. What's the track record here? They will never work. You try, he resists and continues to treat you in abusive ways. If you stay, that's what you're going to get. Enough is enough. It's time for a different approach. It's not about him anymore. Now it will be about you and your children. You're trying to save your children. Do you want your little boys to grow up and be abusers? That's what they're going to do. 95, if not higher percent chance, if you stay with an abuser, that's their model. That's who they're going to be. I praise God if I'm like my wonderful dad in any way, but he is a wonderful person. If you have an abuser in your home, uh uh-uh, and you want your little girls to grow up and marry an abusive man, that's exactly what's going to happen if you don't leave him. 
Now it's about you getting ready to leave him. It's your turn to live a different and far better life. And that's why I wrote the book, Enough is Enough, How to Leave an Abusive Relationships. An Abusive Relationship.